What's up, people? Today we're going to be using the OSMC Cody build. It's a free open source media player. You can turn your uh, Raspberry Pi 1, 2, 3, or 0 into a really cool media center. This is one of the best builds out there and it's extremely easy to install. So, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and uh, get an SD card. I wrote here what you want. You're going to want wired or Wi Fi, so you do need internet to download the actual program once you get your Pi booted. Uh, you also need to download the new file that we're going to get in a second. And then you need at least probably a 16 gigabyte SD card, a 32 gig will work or anything like that. Okay. So first thing to do is to go to this link that I have posted in the description, raspberrypi.org, download that noobs. Uh, I recommend just getting the noobs light. That's all you need um, is download the zip. It's a 26 megabyte file or something like that, where this is a one gigabyte and you don't need it, especially if you have the internet. Um, and then you want like an unzipping program like a WinRAR, or WinZip or 7-Zip. Those will all work. Or if you have a Mac, you need that program there. So we're going to go ahead and just click Download Zip. It'll download. I've already downloaded it. I have it uh, somewhere in here. Here we go, Noobs. And the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to format my SD. I have an SD formatter program that I use on many of my videos. It's just really simple to use. I'm going to go ahead and format brand new. Yes. That's done formatting. So I have my 32 gigabyte SD card that's all um, formatted. And then uh, I have that zip file I just downloaded, noobs underscore light. I'm using version 2.1. And uh, you just kind of want to highlight all this stuff. You need to unzip it into your, um, your SD card. So here's my F drive, which is my SD card I just formatted. I'm going to go ahead and drag that over. And uh, it's pretty quick. Like I said, it's only 28 megabytes. So this is going to go ahead and uh, just go into there, into the F drive. There's nothing else I need to do. Once this is complete, like that, wow, it just went. Phew. So once that's done, I can just close out of everything here, and we're done with our computer. The next thing we're going to do is just um, go to our Pi and plug this micro SD into our Pi and boot it up. All right, I'm just inserting the... SD, micro SD into the Raspberry Pi 3, and then I'm going to plug in the power cord right now. And I have this going uh, HDMI into my TV. So sound and uh, video should be going directly through my Pi. And here we go. You should get a little multicolored screen there. And then here we have it. Let's uh, make sure you can see this. And it says uh, resizing fat partition. Now for this part, you can either uh, plug in a uh, mouse and keyboard. I just have a keyboard right now. I do have a mouse, but I'm just gonna show you that it's as easy as um, with the keyboard. I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my uh, local Wi-Fi here. You just wanna find your, um, which one you want. You can either scroll down or up. So I'm now connected on my Wi-Fi, and the minute you connect, you should get this big long list of things that you can install on your Raspberry Pi. Uh, there's a Windows 10 core, Raspbian Lite, and what we want for this video is just the OSMC. And uh, just gonna go ahead and click enter on your keyboard, and then go ahead and click the button, the letter I. It's gonna ask you, this is gonna overwrite your SD, go ahead and just enter to say yes. And now it's going to write the partition. And uh, this process should take about 5 to, to 15 minutes. Let's go a little higher because if you have a slow internet connection, it will take much longer. But uh, I can tell you right now, for me, it takes about a little less than 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera and then resume once this is uh, done, completed. So it says uh, OS is installed successfully. Let's go ahead and click enter on our keyboard that then booted us into the OSMC for the first time. Waiting for root file system, it says, and there's our splash screen. Now what I've, got, I've already done is I've, uh, on a USB stick, I put some photos, I put some music, and I put a video uh, so we can go ahead and test this out. Um, this thing has the capabilities of uh, pairing Bluetooth, as well as setting up on a Wi-Fi network and you can do like a FTP drop or you could do like a Samba where you can uh, network into the device and uh, transfer your videos and things directly that way. So it has a lot of capabilities. So just to start off, you have videos, music, pictures, my OSMC, favorites, 
programs and settings. So it's asking for our language, we're gonna go down to, oh, English, I guess. E, we speak English. Yes, okay. Time zone. Okay, I'm just gonna do LA. Okay, current name, OSMC. That's fine. Enable. Enable your adapter. I'm just gonna go ahead and connect via Wi-Fi. Okay, it should find your network. Okay, so we are now connected to the internet. All right. Let's keep the OSMC. Would you like to know? No newsletter. That's it. So we set up the initial appearance. Check for updates. Uh, sure, let's go ahead and check. I mean, we just installed it. It shouldn't uh, have any updates, but Let's go ahead and uh, see what it says. Oh, okay, so we have a lot of add-ons to update. So let's go ahead and let it run these updates. I'm sure it'll add a lot of things to this. UK. Open weather map. Let's do weather underground. Cool. There you go. The weather works now. <laughs> so we now have the weather. So that's kind of cool. We have all these add-ons you can do. Jesus, that's a lot. You have uh, music. I'm sure you can get all sorts of music add-ons, like music players. SoundCloud, that should be easy. We got SoundCloud coming on. So we're going to change our sound, we do have 5.1, and then resolution, I think it's already really good, but let's go all the way to the max. Alright, so let's go ahead and check this out, files, I've got a, um, a video here on my USB, let's go ahead and play it.
freaking amazing. Okay, so you want to hit enter on your keyboard if you want to get to the menus there. So there's a video. Music. I uploaded some music on this USB drive as well. Some of my video editing music. Let's play the one that everyone liked. They like the, um, I think I deleted it actually. Oh, no, there it is. Turn it up. If you guys want to download this, it's copyright free. And here we have it playing in the um, background. Okay, and then let's uh, let's see if we can play music and watch pictures at the same time. I got some pictures of my dog right here. So you can listen to music and watch your dog attack a stick. Space to pause. Enter to get to the menu at the bottom. Up to change the. video if you could please like and subscribe I'd really appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time